and no one waiting more anxiously for the hostages to be freed than the relatives of those held captive by the terrorists in Gaza. And today on Long Island, several people related to hostages are speaking out. Among them, the brother of a man from Long Island, that man. Their voices giving credence to the mantra of both sides agreeing to some kind of ceasefire and using words rather than missiles. Fingers crossed. Long Island reporter Shante Lance live in Syosset with that part of our coverage. Shante. Well, Bill, Omer Nutra is 22 years old. He's from Plainview, but he's been a member of this Jewish center since he was four years old. And tonight, his community is praying, continuing to pray for his safe return. As the war between Israel and Hamas rages on, survivor Natalie Senadaji of Great Neck recounts the moments during the Nova Music Festival where she almost lost her life. One of the most terrifying moments was running in a specific direction, thinking that we're running to safety, and then seeing dozens of kids running in our direction, understanding that they're being pursued and they're being shot at. Nearly 360 concert goers were killed. The 28 year old is fortunate to be home for Thanksgiving. Unlike 240 hostages still being held captive by Hamas, like Plainview native and IDF soldier 22 year old Omer Nutra. Omer is probably the strongest person I know. Nutra's younger brother Daniel and their parents want him home back on Long Island safely. Behind closed doors, it's, it's very tough, uh, but out in public, they, they do whatever they can. They just need to spread the word as much as they can. A chair draped with a tallis and a picture of Omer in the middle sits inside the Midway Jewish Center in Syosset, a community he's been a part of since he was four. Thanksgiving will be upon us in two days, and uh, it's a wonderful day to express gratitude. And we certainly hope that these talks yield to fruition. And today, state and federal leaders from Long Island gather to support the Jewish community. The United States House of Representatives' support of Israel will come with no conditions whatsoever. Over 1,200 Israelis and other citizens were killed that day, more than any day since the Holocaust. Now is time to continue on the mission to eradicate Hamas from this earth. This, as President Biden says, negotiators are close to reaching a deal to release dozens of hostages. That negotiations are currently ongoing uh, is, is a good sign. We're hopeful that everyone has returned home uh, safely, but um, it's really as, as much we can say right now. Are you hopeful that he'll come home? Okay. I have to be. I have to be hopeful. And Omer Nutra turned 22 years old while being held captive by Hamas. His brother telling me he wants his brother home for the holidays.